you queer cats are tone setters The same reason my main legion are wrong with us With long cheddar, mixed with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The South stays, about that Beretta clapping Lines balanced with Head on over to Spotify and all other streaming platforms to check out the No Mercy TV podcast. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV.com. You know what time it is, man. Jules, how are you doing, sir? Nice to meet you. My name is No Mercy. <laughs> you feel me? Um, Damn. Damn, damn, damn. So, I just watched this uh, interview that the trash rapper, I'm not going to, never going to say his name, the trash rapper, that's where you, trash can rapper, uh, adultish Gambino, <laughs> that's what his name was going to be, toddlerish Gambino, um, did with Jerrica Baker, right? So, she got on camera, uh, she was speaking about you know, the whole battle truth situation and what's going on. And Jules actually called up and he had a couple of questions for her. Right. And here's the thing. For those of y'all that don't know Jules, Jules is, you know, what he was, uh, battle truth's co-host, you know, the dude that, uh, for, for those of y'all that don't know, you know, he's paralyzed. You know, he had a situation with the police. They ran down, um, shot him a few times and you know he wound up getting his big lawsuit etc etc and um he basically does these long 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 youtube streams right 11 hours 12 hours whatever It'd just be streaming all day right and what's crazy is you know he's actually very much smarter than battle truth and he's not as much of a sucker as battle truth is like i don't think i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all i don't think he's a sucker at all you feel me? I just think he aligned himself with somebody who uh, is just so much of a gossip girl. And it just makes it ironic because he's somebody who has his own skeletons, you know. But um, Jules called up during the Jerrica Baker interview and was asking her questions based around his interaction with Battle Truth. And the funny thing is, and I, I find it crazy that nobody's pointing this out. But for me, this is kind of a nail in the coffin because Jules said him and Battle Truth spoke. And Battle Truth told him that he was going to marry Jerrica. Again, let me repeat that. Jules himself, his man, his man that been supporting him, they've been doing all these blogs and live streams and all this together, who he talks to every day, they doing watch parties with the battles and all this other stuff, admitted to Jerrica and said this publicly, that Battle Truth came out his mouth and told him that he was going to marry Jerrica, that he had a ring for her, he was going to propose all this other stuff. This is Jewel saying this, right? If there's anyone within this little blogger world that we know would be Battle Truth's right hand man, it would be Jules. If you know him, you know what time it is. You know what time they on numerous blogs together. So if this person and Jules is not, he's not a clout chaser. He's not a troll. He's not a nigga that's going to make some shit up. If he's coming out his mouth and he's saying this, for me, that kind of seals the deal. Battle Truth, you're a sick individual, bro. You got all these plans on marrying your own daughter. What type of life have you been living behind these closed doors outside of these cameras? What have you been like... Man, 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 man. And it's weird. It's weird. It, it's, it's extremely weird, you know. And I feel bad for Jules, to be honest, because being that y'all was so in tune and so tight with each other, 
there's going to be a certain level of scrutiny that Jules gets for the simple fact that he was so close to you. And even hearing that from him, it kind of does make me question what else he knows about this whole situation. And because Jules is, you know, much more of a solid individual, I'm sure he's not going to jump out the window and start, you know, just airing you out. But I don't like the fact that Battle Truth is doing blogs, taking numerous shots at him. You understand when he starts talking about um, little channels I helped build and, you know, stuff like that. I'm, I'm good at detecting when people are shooting at certain people. I'm very good at that. And what Battle Truth doesn't like, he doesn't like the honesty that's going around. Forget narratives or anything like that. You have people that are coming out being honest. Battle Truth's family, um, people like Jules, his baby mothers, they're coming out and they're being honest. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. And this is why he's doing blogs, trying to throw so many people under the bus, whether it's directly, whether it's subliminally. Battle Truth is just like he, he's trying to avoid the truth. The truth is you are a serial pedophile. And you are nasty to be trying to propose to your own daughter. What? Oh, man. Nah, nah, you a weirdo. You are a supreme weirdo, and you should not be on YouTube, bro. You should not be on YouTube. You need help, son. You need help. You need help. And I, I kind of feel bad for Jules, but at the same time, I do remember a while ago. I'm not sure if I said this directly to Jules or if I might have said this in the blog, but Jules should not have been in leagues with a bozo like you. He shouldn't have. And for clear reasons, because the two of you are clearly different. You understand? When you're going off on your tangents, of course, Jules is going to co-sign you oftentimes because he rock with you. But see, this this is I almost want to interview Jules. I almost want to interview Jules because there's a lot of stuff that I personally want to know. You understand what I'm saying? And trust me, if I was to interview Jules, it would be something that y'all would actually want to see because I know what to ask. You feel me? I know what to ask. And there would be so much information there. I just hope if I was to actually interview him that he not going to be on the duck and smoke because trust me, I'm going to ask the difficult questions. You feel me? So that, but that's just, you know, my train of thought. But I said, that he should not be aligned with a bozo like Battle Truth simply because I see the difference in their characters, uh, difference in their intelligence. There will be times where Jews would check Battle Truth, and there will even be times, right, where Battle Truth would say some dumb shit, right? Um, perpetrating a certain narrative. Jules would correct him on some, yo, but that ain't, you know like on some common sense shit how somebody would and then battle truth or reverse it on them on some no but you don't understand this and this happened so this and this happened so you know instead of just admitting that he's wrong he tries to reach and jump to other things in order to make his point seem concrete and then jews will pretty much just go along with it because jews don't want to argue with him you feel me jews comes off as that type of person like yo not gonna you know really sit here and argue like they might debate but in terms of like it's more so a thing of like bro if you're gonna go this hard to try to force your point to sound true then all right go ahead you can have it like that's the type of shit that they will get into so it would it would just be weird seeing that you feel me like it, it just shows you the, the difference in the character and this is why individuals who are actually solid just shouldn't put themselves in league with bozos like battle truth you understand battle truth been running around talking this oh this person co-signed me queens flip co-signed me xyz I, I i hope you wouldn't be trying to claim none of that now because all that shit out the window with you and and your daughter and all this other shit oh nah that's that shit done that shit done 
them cosigns is over. You back to being a nobody in the culture. You understand? You better go do another blog dissing uh, angry fan Chris and Shea Black if you want to <laughs> try to start rebuilding your fan base again. Matter of fact, you might not want to do that. You might not want to do that. I'm pretty sure Jay Black is sitting up there laughing at, at all of this shit. He's seeing all of this and he is dying laughing because guess what? Jay Black with his huge channel. Ooh. Ooh, I would hate to see a blog come from him about you. <laughs> Man, oh man, you know how much of a world of hurt you would be in? Oh my God. And it's crazy because think about this, right? Think about this. It's another reason I kind of feel bad for Jules. Y'all put so much pressure on Jay Black when the Tech 9 situation happened. When them allegations came out and that paperwork and everything came out, Y'all put a lot of pressure on that man. Suppose Jules is probably feeling the same way about people, you know, pressing him and in his comments and trolling him and, yo, battle truth, your man's X, Y, Z. And now guess what? He has to constantly come on YouTube defending himself because you did some bullshit. Because you did some weirdo incest trying to marry your own daughter. Like, come on, bro. Come on. You on footage referring to her as your daughter, too. That's that's what's crazy. You on footage referring to her as your daughter. You calling her son your grandson, blah, blah, blah. And now you turning around and you talking about marrying her. This stuff ain't alleged at this point. None of this is alleged at this point. This is all factual stuff coming from people who are not going to make this shit up. Sorry, I'm not going to say that your son is going to lie about seeing you sleeping in bed with her. I'm not going to say that your baby mother is lying about her son coming to her with this story. I'm not going to say that your aunt is lying about the information that she's putting out. Nope. Nope. You are a creep. You are a creep. You are... A, a, a pedophile you're all of the above you're all of the above and again you don't need to be on youtube you need to go somewhere and find some help you're about to be 50 years old come on son but anyway no mercy trap new york shit no mercy tv.com jules if you want to come up here and have a nice little discussion you know how to get in contact with me i'm pretty sure people are going to see this blog and reach out to you yo no mercy when i highlight you blah 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 I think we should do that. I think I should do a special No Mercy TV Live. Have you, you know, send you the link. Have you come up here. And we have a nice, great talk. You understand? So if you open to it, let's make it happen. You feel me? No Mercy. Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV.com. I'll holler at y'all soon.